viral infection in uh, stem cell transplant uh, recipients, it's pretty common, uh, especially herpes uh, viruses. And uh, one of the most common uh, viral infection that usually we encounter uh, after uh, transplant is cytomegalovirus. Uh, but also uh, herpes simplex, it is common, but now with the prophylactic regimen that we have and been using for years, we see much less uh, incidence uh, than probably cytomegalovirus infection. CMV infection uh, is very common after transplant, especially in uh, recipients who are uh, CMV seropositive, meaning they have positive serology for this virus. So they've been exposed to this virus in the past. These patients uh, are at risk uh, for reactivation, meaning that uh, as soon as they receive conditioning regimen and become immunosuppressed, uh, their virus may show up in the blood and uh, in the form of viremia or what we call the anemia. It depends on the test that you use to identify this virus. It is very common. Uh, depending on the type of transplant, it could be uh, between 30% up to 80%, if not more, uh, especially in high-risk uh, transplant, like cord blood transplant or haploidentical uh, transplant recipients. Uh, so it is one of the most common infections that we encounter after transplant. Uh, the risk factors for CMV reactivation or even CMV and organ disease, meaning when it progress and cause and organ damage, uh, are pro practically the same kind of risk factors that we see for uh, different infections. Uh, usually it is uh, the conditioning regimen can put them at risk, especially if it is a T cell depleted regimen, it puts them at risk for viral infection, mainly CMV. Uh, but also, if uh, after the transplant and engraftment, they have graft versus host disease, which is one of the main complications uh, in allogenic uh, transplant recipient, uh, this is another risk factor for CMV reactivation, uh, as well as the treatment of graft versus host disease, like high dose corticosteroids. Uh, you know, this will place patient at uh, high risk of uh, reactivation. So these are the main probably risk factors uh, for uh, this kind of infection uh, after transplant, including age uh, and uh, probably and other comorbidities as well.